your flawlessly recovering shopaholic in today's new series about my journey to spending stupendous amounts of money at the Ivy Clinic. Let's dive straight into the disclaimer. I am not the target market of the Ivy Clinic. I am a heart evangelista wannabe. I am the Tete Tianje version of Heart Evangelista. Let's face it. Literally that. Let's face it. That's my kind of derma salon. So how on earth did I spend 54,000 pesos in the Ivy Clinic on two procedures? One word. Biaya. Blessing in English. So yes, someone purchased a 120,000 peso package for me at the Ivy Clinic. And yes, I tried asking for it in cash. I tried asking to look for a less expensive clinic to maximize their budget for me. But I was also declined. So no, this is also not sponsored nor PR'd by the Ivy Clinic. So disclaimers done. You are here because you are curious to see whether Dr. Ivy is actually Professor McGonagall or Fairy Godmother who can transform us from pumpkin to zucchini. But what I'm going to show you right now is the effect of a procedure called Cosmelan which costs 30,000 pesos. So Cosmelan is a treatment for melasma or hyperpigmentation. I have a lot of freckles. I have a lot of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. The Cosmelan treatment or procedure is not a device. It's not a laser. It's not a machine. It's a mask, guys. It's a 30,000 peso mud applied to my face, which I had to go home with. I had to go home looking like that. As if I was a pig rolling around the mud all day. At least the pig didn't have to pay 30,000 pesos for his mud. In fairness, the mud pack looked more monstrous than it felt. It didn't feel like anything. It just felt like regret on my face. It felt like I wish this was just cash on my face. No pain. No other sensation except regret and knowing what poo looks like. <laughs> on my face if I ever wondered what it would look like on my face. So let me show you now the journey from looking like this to this. Roll the clips! Okay, July 3, exactly 1 p.m. and this face is bare. I would say this is like in a moderate spotty situation. Could be worse, could be better. So here's my left side. This one is a scar from chicken box. Na nalagyan ng hyperpigmentation on top. This one is a recent one. This was injected with a steroid. There's no artificial light right now. So my right side is my issue. I have a lot of ice pick scars from my second year high school breakout. So that's more than 20 years ago. I have a lot of spider veins. I have a lot of moles, freckles, konti na lang magiging leopard print na ako. Enlarged pores because I'm oily and acne prone. Ano pa? Ano pa? Ano pa? Para ako nangungumpisal sa inyo. Fine lines and wrinkles. So there you go. That is the state of my skin. <sighs> Let's pray for miracles. Day after Cosmelan. Day after. Day two after the application. Na mamagay yung mukha ko. I feel it even. It's puffy. <laughs> I'm an umpa lumpa extra jumbo show my. It's okay. After that, I will be the most beautiful umpa lumpa mini shopao. Umpa lumpa kaya mo ba to? Umpa lumpa. <laughs> July twenty two. This one is already covered with tinted sunblock. Major peeling. Day 8 since the Cosmeland procedure and I've been experiencing super mega peeling. Even the eyes where we didn't put the mask nor medicine started to peel. Even my mouth. I've been super super dry. I can't even open my mouth. See, see those sores? I can't open my mouth without hurting. And all of these spots, <laughs> I rub them. I rub them, all of these spots, and now I'm worried about what I've done. Taste ganda. July 31 update. Uh, I started picking at my skin because I think it was 
purging. I was getting pimples, so I kept picking, I kept picking. I'm still so dry over here to the point of having sores already, but it must be also because of the I keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. <laughs> It's as if it never ends. Just when I thought, oh, okay, this part already has peeled off, the next day it will still keep peeling. I didn't know we had that much skin. Although, to be honest, I'm sure I have a lot of skin. My face is thick, you know, I have a thick face. August 1 check. Ooh. I am still crusty and sore on the sides. And those are still, actually, I just checked in yesterday. But I just want to show you up to now. This is what it looks like. Whoa, really, really terrible before it starts to get better. I think this is a new one that I... Today is August 5. And I stopped using the Cosmelan Dark Cream. So it stopped peeling. Freckles, lighten overall. There's a significant change in texture. Today is August 30, and this is what our skin looks like. August 30, um, just a little bit of a new breakout. Just a little bit, but definitely much less peeling. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me. So my freckles are much lighter, I feel. So I just turned 40 last night. It's looking super smooth. I'm not sure if this is a new mole or a new freckle, but they look new to me. Sorry, mascara. So today is October 6 and I just wanted to give you an update that I have zits. <laughs> That's our update. October 17, the cream discolors your skin a bit. Today is October 23, bare face, no sunblock, no cream. That's why I'm, I'm a little agitated because I'm facing the window and I don't have sunblock. But this will be the last check-in. Hopefully there's no morning glories. Overall, the texture is just baby soft. It might not be seen on screen, but it's baby soft. Today is October 30, 2021, and this has been three months and more from the July 19 Cosmelan procedure. So that's three months and 10 days. I think this is the height of what the procedure is meant to achieve. I wore the same outfit just for you know, uniformity's sake. I hope the video clips will do the results justice, but if it doesn't, let me just tell you from my personal point of view how transformed my skin is from the pigmentation to the texture to the brightness. This is a new spot <laughs> because it just never ends. Something's always new in the face. I have no moisturizer. I have no sunblock. This is as bare as it can get. So this is what we're going to target next. The scarring through the Fraxel. But for now, the Cosmelan has visibly lightened my freckles or even made them disappear. And then for the remaining skin issues, I have some spider veins that I would like to get rid of. I would like to do something about these under eyes that make me look aged. Maybe some lifting or tightening as it's already a little bit sagging over here. That's because we're 40, guys. <laughs> Welcome to the flirty 40s. So there you go, guys. As you saw, we did go from being a pumpkin to being a more appealed pumpkin. <laughs> so now that you see the transformation, let me break down to you the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm not talking about me, pre-procedure, okay? I have never seen my skin look this soft, smooth, even toned since never, never! Not with 10 hours of sleep in a day, not with 10 glasses of water in a day, not with my 10-step Korean skincare, not with 10 beauty supplements that I take, and to think I am an Olympian when it comes to skincare maintenance. I am in it to win it. I was in bronze level before because this is Olympic gold medal level. 
My hormonal acne was also dramatically reduced from around 10 pimples during my PMS to around 2 pimples a month. Because the medicine or cream that comes with this package continuously peels you. So I don't have dead skin cells every month. I became more vigilant when it comes to sun protection so that it doesn't recur. Because it costs so much, my effort quadrupled in trying to prevent future hyperpigmentation. So to summarize, my skin has never looked this good. Money really can buy you beauty. Money can buy you happiness from the newfound beauty. Now let's move on to the bad. The bad. The price point is inhumane. 30,000 pesos. I would have probably afforded this procedure when I'm already never. <laughs> However, it's actually not totally that inflated, this procedure at Ivy, because it costs the same at Belo. And when I checked my derma clinic, my skin in Angeles, Pampanga, the procedure itself costs 5,200. And so I was like, <gasps> regrets. I have a few. And it's called Ivy, the 30,000 procedure. <laughs> Mademonetize ka. At first, I thought, Oh my gosh, Ivy, you're such an extortionist. But that does not include the products yet that came along with it from the, my Ivy package. So I asked how much this was in my skin, and they were selling it for the same amount as Dr. Ivy was, which is thirteen thousand five hundred. Yes, this cream was thirteen thousand five hundred, and I just found that out when I called the clinic, and I was layering it on like peanut butter. It looks like peanut butter, guys. And then this one, it also came with my package in Dr. Ivy. This they were selling for even more expensive. My skin was selling this for four thousand nine hundred. Dr. Ivy was selling it for. 4,700 so if you factor everything in at my skin including the products that was included in my package it would have cost 23,600 but in my 30,000 package it also included a 950 peso facial wash and the 1,000 peso sunscreen so the procedure was not really inflated after all so the price point is the bad. Who's gonna afford this one? I'm middle class and I won't be able to afford this one. So this is really reserved for the elite. And also the downtime, which is extremely long. One month of you actually looking like a vegetable. You are peeling like an onion, you are red like a tomato, and you are swollen like a... What's a swollen vegetable? Swollen like a... Watermelon? What's a swollen vegetable? <laughs> I already sang the Bahay Kubo in my head and I can't think of a swollen vegetable. <laughs> and watermelon is not a vegetable, Carlota. It is long for you to be feeling swollen and your cheeks get hot and you're literally blown up like a blowfish. And you are not micro-peeling. You're not cutely peeling. You are ugly peeling. If there's ugly crying, this is ugly peeling. Of course, to the real housewives of Ayala Alabang who might just be able to have one month off that's not a deal breaker. But to all of the working citizens out there who have to face people looking like taong ahas of Robinsons, then it's not practical. And it's not even possible to some of you. The other bad part are the products by Ivy Clinic. Oh. This is supposed to be the cleanser for the morning and the evening, guys. And aside from the fact that the packaging already started peeling after like one or second use and the pump stopped working after like two uses and the packaging just came apart, it is literally like a glorified apricot scrub by St. Ives. And I swear I'm not using it incorrectly. It's not meant to be used once or twice a week like a normal scrub is supposed to be. I was prescribed for it to be used morning and evening twice a day it already felt wrong doing it at every night it felt even wronger to do it morning and evening imagine fresh raw skin parang if nasugatan ka imagine scrubbing it with an apricot scrub that's how this feels like so i told my derma doc i don't feel right using this and so she was okay for me to switch to Cetaphil. I'm not trying to know more than an actual dermatologist and I have no idea if other people's skin can handle morning and evening scrub while their skin was freshly peeled off and red and swollen. If something feels wrong, trust your instinct, trust your gut, you have to bring it up. Just because a doctor prescribes it doesn't mean that they're infallible. You have every right 
as a customer to second guess and to get a second opinion or to question your doctor. The other one is the sunscreen. What I don't like about this is that it emphasizes the peeled skin. It is matte and it dries off with a like a powder finish which does not sit well on peeling skin. If you can see here compared to just my plain sunblock cream from Can Make Tokyo, it does not emphasize the peel versus the other side where I use the IV sunscreen foundation cream. It's not great. It's not something I would purchase again. I expected a little bit more, although the price points are not bad, 950 and 1,000 pesos. I think Dr. Ivy could really work on her formulations with her own products. So we've done the good, the bad, and let's get to the most interesting, the ugly. Unfortunately, I did experience a little ugliness in this place of beauty. I had very high expectations going into this. And you know what they say? Lower your expectations so you don't get disappointed. But I started off with very high expectations because I thought she was the equivalent of like a Hollywood, Beverly Hills, cosmetic surgeon to the stars, celebrities. And the cost of her services compared to the other clinics were so much higher. So my expectations were also hanggang langit. But I'm sad to say that I had real palpak moments with them. They were selling me, they were upselling a package of 100,000 which will give me an extra 20,000 treatment. So you only pay 100,000. So you only pay 100,000. Wait, boss. I never thought I'd be able to say that statement in my whole life that you only pay 100,000. Let's take a moment. Let's take a moment. I'm not over this yet, guys. I am not over this. Can you get over it? If somebody gives you 100,000 pesos worth of treatment, I don't think so. I don't think so. So, you only pay 100,000, but you can consume 120,000 pesos worth of services. So luckily, my donor said yes to the upsell. That sounds like a great deal. And then when I was trying to schedule this Cosmilan procedure, they tell me that it is not included in the 100,000 pesos. Wow. They tell me after the payment that the 100,000 only includes specific lasers and procedures and services. Specific! This is not like prepaid credit. Woo! Woo! Can you just imagine my rage? So I call them scammers. Would you accept that? I think that's unacceptable. So apparently, they failed to let me sign this sheet of paper regarding the 100,000 package. And it includes there the detailed list of services only. So I did not know about it. I thought it was just whatever procedure I want, whether I want liposuction. But anyway, it was such a long back and forth discussion and argument and frustration. I was already gathering new wrinkles and white hair just by handling this. So their solution was if I pay 20% on top. So I said, 20% of 30,000, is that 600 pesos? And the staff said, yes, 600 pesos. And so even if I did not feel like I had to do it, I just said, okay, fine. I'll pay 600 pesos just to end this and just for me to proceed with the procedure already. And if you have probably guessed by now, if you're not as bobo in math as I am, you probably have guessed by now that 20% of 30,000 is 6,000, not 600 pesos. So on top of the first palpak moment of Ivy, they were now charging me 6,000 pesos after the procedure instead of 600. So I know that was partially my fault, but it's also the staff's responsibility to give me the right computation. And it probably would have been okay if it was just this error, this computation error, but it was on top of the first error. So at that point, I was just so fed up with the palpak. I mean, the clientele of the Ivy Clinic are high rollers. They would have sky-high standards as they should because they are paying premium prices. So Ivy Clinic has to get their act together and not make these kinds of mistakes. And their damage control, whoo! They wanted to cancel my package because I refused to pay the extra 6,000. Why am I going to lose out on my benefits of the package because of your error. That's not the way to troubleshoot. That's not the way to appease an enraged customer. So after more wrinkles and more white hair formed at the moment, somebody finally came up with a brilliant idea. She said, ma'am, pay the 6,000 pesos, the 20%, and we will give you a free laser 
street men worth 10,000. And I'm like, sold! See what I mean? Even if I did not expect or even if I had to shell out 6,000 pesos of my own cash because of their error, you give me a package, you give me a compromise that I could get on board with. You know, I get a free laser treatment that is worth 10,000. Even if I shell out an unexpected extra 6,000, that's something I could swallow. I can't be the only one taking the hit. The 6,000 is now coming from my pocket and my pocket is shallow. <laughs> 6,000 is painful to me. So I can't be the only one taking the hit. You have to share the loss because it was your mistake in the first place. Mr. F actually told me you shouldn't have shelled out the 6,000. I would have stood my ground because it was their fault. But I was already exhausted from the agitation of the entire thing. And I didn't want to ruin the experience. It was meant to be a luxurious, pampering, blessed experience. And I did not want to turn the entire experience into like a battlefield with bloodshed. So there you go, that was the good, the bad, and the ugly. And now what is the takeaway? You know, the Cosmolan procedure gave the best results I've ever seen on my skin since birth. But if there is a clinic offering it at a lower price, I would do it there. Like I said, I am not the target market of the Ivy Clinic. So the Ivy Clinic is really specific to a certain market, Class A and beyond. You know, I heard they even had a harpist playing in their luxurious lobby. So if you're the type to like luxurious settings while getting your treatments done, or if you like the feeling of security and confidence in knowing that your clinic has the most advanced machines, or if you're the type who aspires for the skin of celebrities and you just want to replicate their regimen or routine, then of course, go to Ivy. But it is not the end all and be all if you can't afford it. Uh, if you are resourceful, you can call all the clinics in the Philippines and find one that might offer it for a little less. Can the Cosmilan procedure compare to expensive skincare products? I don't think so. My mom and I, we bought a 5,000 peso jar of cream in Paris because we got boodled. And it did not correct any hyperpigmentation. It did not do any wonders for our skin. And my mom, she consumed four jars of those. So that's 20,000. So if you compare that to the 30,000 of the Cosmilan procedure, definitely worlds apart. Pay the 30,000 peso and your hyperpigmentation is gone in 30 days. So what you're getting with the Cosmilan procedure is the immediate effect in the shortest time possible. You don't have to wait for six months to one year to see visible results. You see the result after 30 days. There you go, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this beauty segment on this channel. If you have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? I still have 66,000 pesos in my credit for us to dissect in future videos. Follow me on this 120,000 peso skincare journey. Why not? Might as well milk this 100,000 pesos and make videos out of it. Thank you so much, my donors, for your generosity. You know who you are. This is an experience of a lifetime and you really upgraded my beauty. Thank you everybody for watching and I hope you are staying safe. And please don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Bye! See you in the next video! Hi everybody, this is Charlotte, your flawlessly recovering shopaholic. In today's... Because the medicine or the cream that... I mean, I do spend on quality skincare, bro. Here we go, the airplanes are back. They are back to torture my YouTube life. I guess that's a good sign. It means the world is opening up once again. So okay, bring on the aircon. Aircon? <laughs> Airplane, I mean. Woo! This is too early. I'm filming at 11 a.m. This is unheard of. Let's allow the airplane to pass us by. And I'll be happy for it because it means that the world is opening up and I can go to South Korea soon to visit Kang Hanul and Hyun Bin. Wait for me, Opa! Yes, I had to go down the elevator. I had to go down the elevator. Look at me. Might as well get something. Might as well. Might as well. Hmm. Wala na akong words, guys. It's already 12.30. <laughs> One more. Mm.